Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review and Non-Alcoholic Review at the same time. I know I always used to say non-alcoholic review for these, but hey, it is what it is, right? We have a non-alcoholic beer from, well, technically it's from Village Brewing, but it's from Craft, C-R-F-T. This is their Crispy Blonde Ale. It is 0.4% alcohol by volume, so Village is in uh, Calgary, Alberta. And I've actually liked a bunch of Village beers. I've ordered Village beer from, uh, I think it was called Craft Tapped or something like that. Uh, the company doesn't seem to exist anymore, which is too bad because it was a great little company while it existed. Uh, basically kind of like, kind of like your bottle shops. What they did was they facilitated a platform for people to order beer around the country that would get shipped to them. So it was an interesting little thing while it lasted. Uh, these, this was purchased from Amazon. It was $13 for a four pack. Um, being that I live where I live, that's a pretty dang good price to me. Now, as most of you know, not all that into blondes. Be it a human being or a beer. Um, but I really liked the velvety stout that I had by them. So I'm kind of curious about this one. Nice look, nice golden color, nice snap crackle pop, scent out of the glass. Okay, so the last one actually smelt like a beer with a little bit of under attenuation. This one kind of smells like Malta or any other malt beverage. Cheers, let's try it. That being said, there is a little bit of butterscotch, there is a little bit of uh, under attenuation, just wart type of taste. But other than that, there's a nice crispiness to it. There is a nice slightly rounded, almost like woodiness. There is a hoppiness. Um, 25 calories. We have sodium benzoate, water, malted barley, yeast, and hops. 100 milligrams is your potassium, 40 milligrams of calcium, no fat, 85 milligrams of sodium, no cholesterol, 0.5 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, um, 6 grams of total carbs. All in all, this, this does not seem to be a bad little drink. I've had much worse non-alcoholic beers. This kind of does taste almost, almost reminiscent of a European blonde ale. Uh, almost like you got that little bit of like a sulfuric water is what it's kind of coming off as. You know which one it really does remind me of? It reminds me of a slightly more flavorful uh, PC Blonde Brew. And PC Blonde Brew was actually a non-alcoholic beer I could get behind. And I can get behind this one as well. Uh, if this was cold, it would just taste like a regular beer. The only reason you're tasting the under attenuation, well, I'm tasting the under attenuation and all that, is because I have it room temperature. Um, I like it. I really do. Yeah, out of 10, um, stylistically as a non-alcoholic beer, this is probably an 8.5 or a 9. Personal enjoyment, uh, probably around a 7. I would buy this again. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.